Alright guys, the next part of the video series for the basic running tip techniques is going to be on your arms. Uh, with your arms, you want it to be just right in that you don't want it too long or too short. If you have too long of an arm movement like this, you're going to take too long to take your stride because you got to understand that your arms are very much correlated to your legs. So whatever your arms are doing, the legs are going to copy as well. So if you're going to have a long stride, your arms are bigger, but you're going to take a longer time to run. And most of the time, frequency is not going to change. If you look at the pro runners, and you look at the steps that they take, most of them are going to hit the ground at exactly the same time. But the stride length is going to change. So that means you have to get a longer stride length, but you don't do that with bigger arms. You have to do, do, the only way you do that is through more power, more efficient technique, just hitting the gym, getting stronger, and also more practice on your technique. That's basically it. There's two ways to improve in spitting. You get stronger or you get more technical. So when you're getting more technical, you just want it in between. Not too short, because that's a downside as well, because you're going to be taking too many steps. By the time you're halfway through the race, you're going to be more fatigued. So you want to take the maximum amount that your body's going to let you. Some guys are going to have a... I think the way that people think is that taller guys have a bigger advantage than shorter guys. Guys like Usain Bolt, everybody thinks, ah, oh, he's got a long, longer stride, therefore he's going to finish much faster. It's true in a sense he has a longer stride, but you got to think about it, he's a lot heavier. Someone like him compared to Justin Gatlin or even Trayvon Bromel, uh, get, Bolt is like 87, 90 kilos. Bromel is like 60, 60 something. There's a big difference in the amount of weight that they carry. So even Bolt is taking a longer stride, he's being carried down by his weight. Bromel, he's just flying off the ground because he's weightless basically. He hits the ground and he flies back up. So, so the way you're going to think about this is your arms are going to be just right. Not too short, not too long. So when you're, when you're doing it, you've got chest back, stick like your shoulders back, stick your chest out, and you're going to relax. And you're just going to try to get at 90 degree angles for the most part. You know, some people, some things in, some, some people like to get it fancy and all this, change it a little bit, but you know, you try to stick with that kind of range. Don't try to do anything crazy or anything like that. Try to go like, you know, like that Naruto kind of thing, whatever. Just that 90 degree angle at most, the best you can. Some people might have more shorter mobility. That helps them get more range, but that's all idiosyncratic, meaning that everybody has a different body structure that's gonna allow them to move. That's where you get these differences in arm movements and all that. Some, some, people, some people look different than others. You might think it's, it's off, but really it's not really off because it's just the way that they move. That's just the body structure. Some people have longer arms, shorter arms. It's just, it's just how it is. Anyway, the importance of your arms, as I said, get to correlate to your legs, efficient arms, efficient legs, and that's it. One thing about arms you want, chest up and back. Your back is going to be very important in running, especially the fact that it's what keeps you up, keeps you stable. And you want to, when you're running, you want a one fluid path forward. You don't want to waste too much energy side to side. And you notice know with like top athletes, some of the top sprinters, one guy, Ben Johnson, he had like a massive back. And that's just because every time you hit the ground, bang, all your energy is transferred to the ground. Your, your back is what's going to absorb it. And that's why you need good arms, good posture, and that's what keeps you going. See, at, during, during the, later stage of the later stages of a race, that's where you see most people fail. That's where everything collapses, arms go down, and everything just fall, falls to the floor. So, that's pretty much it I got, got to say about arms. Just remember, 90 degrees, shoulders back, chest out, and that's what you use. When your legs, when you're dying at the end, just think about strong arms, 
legs are going to move as well. That's pretty much it. All right, peace out. See you in the next video.